when did the when did the the healing journey start for you guys to want to say all right we want to do a business but we want to you know kind of be intentional around what our business model is you know we want to you had mentioned something about being in a spot um, before on the west coast was was it always an idea that you guys knew that you were going to go into the, the spa realm or was it where, where did that come from so our mom had a dream Okay. And then she had a vision. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, she was a massage therapist first before we did any yeah. of our in, you know innate abilities, but our practices. Um, so I'm growing, an growing up, that was her profession. She was a massage no, therapist. No, nope. she. Um, she was a receptionist. She was a receptionist oh, for wow. years, and okay. thank God because she didn't drive. So we, we, she wanted us to always have access to her, and as a receptionist, we were able to because being a single mom, you need to know where your kids are. Right. So it worked out for right. her. Um, and then she decided to go to massage therapy school. That was a brave um, choice. And it was yeah. a br yeah, brave choice. Um, also, during massage school for her, she was caretaking for her sick and dying dad. Um, and then uh, Granny at the time had a brain tumor. And so she was caring for both of them through massage. And so she just knew it was her calling mm. to be a massage therapist. Um, I um, went to Ohio State Cosmetology School to become an esthetician. So I'm skincare by trade. Okay. And so I got into that. I, you know, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I went to Columbus State for like a second. I was like, nah, this, this is just not for me right now. Right. I'm a hands-on learner and right. I love life. So as soon as I walked in the doors there, I was like, yeah, this is great. Chanel was in D.C. Yeah. with the Dr. Gordon. Yeah, so I, I, I um, didn't get into medical school. So I wanted to, you know, figure out where am I going? What am I doing? And so I ended up working at the Center for Mind-Body Medicine out in D.C., um, and I, I just worked alongside, I was his personal assistant, but I also got, I was privy to all their training programs. Mm. It's like my body medicine. He's a pioneer in complementary and alternative medicine at NIH. And so I was just privy to all these conversations and these, you know, thinkers around this whole concept of, you know, this new science, cause it was fairly new back then. Um, and so, uh, yeah, I went down that path and then I also, uh, decided to do a yoga teacher training. So I also, um, yoga um yeah, so, so we so knew we were gonna you back yeah. mom had the dream years before this even happened she just saw it through like she was like it's gonna be in a house like she just knew she wanted to name it replenish she already had the name <laughs> and then we kind of came together it was well, we were all on our own paths no we we, we were all on our own path yeah. yeah but we we started building a business plan but this was like this was like Three Seven, years yeah, before this we was even, like years she came before. home for a second, and I had all this download. I get a lot of downloads, okay. so yeah. you know, you know that wisdom is not necessarily. I just say, use me as a vessel, right? Mm -hmm. Like, and then mm -hmm. the downloads come in, and then she knows I gotta write. I gotta write down. Yeah, and I'm yeah. writing or typing, and it's coming in. Yeah, you know, and I don't know where it's coming from. You know, I do know where it's coming from. You're about you know? to say yes, you do. Yes, yes you do. <laughs> divine order is just right. coming yeah. in. Um, and so, and then I was aligning myself with people that had structure and like the thinkers that were trying to figure, you know, how, how, how can I figure out how to put this together? You know, like I was always curious about like the operational aspects of things. Um, and so we sat down one, yeah. one day, but we literally. still didn't know when, like I was in DC yeah. and then I moved to, to LA I mean, was home for like a weekend, yeah. <laughs> we literally took like the whole day and then just knocked out the business plan together. Yeah. I mean, the first thing that we created was a, um, was a quote we created yeah. together is by starting with something familiar and implementing small changes, your perspective and ultimately your life will transform. And that was like the first quote of the business plan. Mm -hmm. And then from there, this business plan was big. I was like, wow, we, we going big, yeah. right? And then when we started, we were like, oh, maybe we're not going big. And then everything that we've done <laughs> is totally exactly the business plan. Yeah. So it was like we had all these visions, but it didn't it didn't play out like that in the very beginning. It was like, you know, us just trying to put we were it in together. a lower level of a space. That yeah. Started from the bottom. Now I'm here. That's the yeah. whole thing. And that's where we started. Literally. Yeah. We started in a lower level. Yeah. Um, but we still refer back to those ideas like they just took time to manifest, but it's still very much a part of our what we came up with way back then. Yeah, it's beautiful when you look yeah. back at it. That's that beautiful. Yeah. I mean.